how that all come together like that? Just what's it mean to set that kind of record here in a game seven? I mean, I think it's a testament, you know, just to you know our coaching staff, just our offense, man. I think we you know we have an historic offense, obviously, but um, this guy got things rolling, and everybody kind of just follows suit. And uh, to do that on the road here in the Garden in the Game Seven, obviously, it's phenomenal. But you know, I think um, this is uh, what we've been doing all season long, and we were able to show it on the biggest stage. Ty, what was that fan saying you throughout the first quarter, and how much did that help get you going? This one? Um, he was just talking before the game. Um, <laughs> we just talking before the game. I mean, it seemed like whoever was sitting in that seat all series had something to say to me. So once I got going, I just I knew I was gonna have to pick somebody today to get me get me going, and it just happened to be him, and uh, just got me going in the first quarter, and we just continued on. Um, but I think that's you know the the game within the game. That's the the, the fun that is this environment. You seem to pick some mix too. <laughs> me? You seem to pick some mix. They picked him. Yeah, I mean, they picked me. <laughs> <laughs> they picked him. He was talking crazy. All series. Miles, similar question after round one, but this whole playoff run for you, being with this franchise for so long, how sweet does it feel for you personally? Um, you know, for me personally, you know, I can sit here and say a lot of things. Obviously, it's been a long time coming. I'm just proud of this group, man, for real. Like, I, this is one of the most special groups I've been around and is the most special group I've been around just um, since I've been here. We all play for each other, and there's no ego. And um, when you got guys that can score 15-plus points, 15, 20-plus points every single night, seven, eight guys, there could be a lot of ego involved with that. And we were able to nip that in the butt a lot earlier this season, you know. And obviously, having Pascal come here, you know, midway through the season and adding his leadership and just, um, you know, everything he's able to provide for our team offense and defensively has been huge. So um, I'm proud. I was, I'm glad I was able to share with my, my family. You know, my dad's from New York. You know, this, he grew up on this series and this rivalry. So to have that embrace him after the game was everything. And, um, you know, we're not done yet. How's that? Did you have to, uh, you have to test Ananobi? Obviously, it was fun. It feels like you had to test him. I mean, I didn't, I, mean, I wasn't going in with, like, you know, I'm going to test him. But, I, you know, obviously, he didn't, he didn't look too healthy, you know. Um, it made, made some shots early, but. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, I love OG, you know, so I think just seeing him out there, obviously I, I was just, you know, making sure that he's okay first um, and making sure that, like, you know, I know it's game seven and, and we want to give everything, but, you know, we got to be healthy. Um, and I thought, you know, he, he didn't look healthy out there. Um, so unfortunately for him, he had a great season, um, you know, proud of him, and, and I just want him to, you know, continue to get better, and um, he's going to have an opportunity to, you know, make a lot of money and, and, you know, do a lot of things for his family, so I just want him to be good. Tyrese, you got the uh, Reggie sweatshirt on there. Um, did you hear from him or any of the other facers through the course of the series? Any, any words of inspiration along the way? Yeah, I mean, we text every day. I mean, this has just been a good mentor for me, but I mean, I'm just wearing a hoodie. I like to be comfy on the plane. I have no idea. I, I honestly don't know. I got this hoodie like two days ago, so appreciate whoever gave it to me. Got sent to my house. Tyrese, how important was it to score so much early to take the crowd out? <coughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't say it had anything to do with that. I just, you know, I think when I play aggressive and I just talked to you guys about this last game and it seems to be the only thing that can be talked about by, by everybody after every game is just, for me, just aggression is not shots. It's just getting two feet in the paint. I know it's like an old school way of thinking, but um, the more that I can get downhill, it opens up everything for everybody else. So guys are making shots early um, and I just, you know, continue to get to the paint as much as I can off of these two guys' ball screens and get in the rim, get to the rim and, and kick out to these guys to make plays. So, um, you know, I think for me, it's just feeling out the game, what's needed in that game. And I knew, you know, today's game seven, um, unload the clip, you know, have no regrets because I would hate to, you know, be pissed all summer about not shooting the ball today. So, um, you know, for me, it was just about coming out playing the right way. Tyrese, we've heard all the teams that you guys have played in the playoffs yeah. talk about the game slows down in the playoffs. The, the pace can't be that way. How much has pace kind of meant to you guys? Is it anything keeping him doing the things that you guys have done? Do you think that we have slowed down a lot? Okay. Well, I think that's the answer. I mean, I think that it's just the old school way of thinking that you can't play this fast in the playoffs. Um, but I think opportunistically you can do it, right? I think if we're able to get stops, of course we can. But, you know, there was games this series where we're giving up 15 offensive rebounds. You can't run when you're, you know, giving up so many offensive rebounds, taking the ball out every play. Um, when you're getting enough stops that you can run and then you can take advantage when they do score, that's a, that's a whole different thing. But um, I think we're just, you know, I think slowly we're changing the way of, of thinking in, in, in the NBA that the playoffs, you have to play slow, and um, we're able to just continue to be who we are. You guys had that run in the, in the in season tournament, and it seemed like that started 
you guys' path towards getting better defensively. And I know it wasn't it was fits and starts, but how important was it to make that run and see, hey, you know, when we do get some stops, we can still play the way we want to play. We can still play with that pace. I think the biggest thing was experience. You know, we had a lot of guys who hadn't played, you know, high level basketball or games that matter. In the in season tournament there was like a heightened sense of urgency in all those games. And, you know, we know how we started the year defensively, but we all came together and we told ourselves, man, if we can just get to from go from thirty to average, you know what I mean, we can be, you know, a hell of a team. And we all committed, uh, recommitted ourselves to that defensive end and um we're able to show it a bit, you know, in that in season tournament and you know, obviously a few games here in the in the playoffs as well. So um, I'm just glad that more than anything, you know, our guys got experience. Yeah, I think for me, just the attention to detail throughout that. I mean, especially like the championship game, I think about that game often uh, just because of the attention of detail. You're, I'm seeing, you know, championship guys and how locked in they were to the scout mm -hmm. and, um, you know, how they wanted to guard certain guys and where they wanted to attack and things like that. So I think the experience from just high-level basketball um, helps for for anybody. So, um, you know, I think we're really thankful for that experience to, to play in, in those environments because those are all, you know, pretty, you know, hectic games. But, um, you know, just trying to use those the right way. I mean, P's played and he's won a championship you know us guys have you know this is our first time to Easter Conference Finals so um, you know I think that that this mix of you know experience inexperience youth and um, I'm not you're not old but I mean he's been there sorry he's been there uh, but I think it's I think it's a good mix and it just it keeps it fresh it keeps it fresh when this season started uh, I can't remember exactly but you guys were projected maybe like you know a little playoff seat maybe even playing whatever when did you guys start to believe that this yeah, I mean, I think for us as a group, obviously P wasn't here to start the year, but we we knew our expectation was to get to the playoffs. We said that to our local media members all year. I mean, I know a lot of you guys didn't hear anything from us because it's not like we're covered early in the year, but, um, you know, I think that we just had that. Like we, we had you know, pre-camp, preseason camp in Nashville, just players, no coaches, and that's that was what we communicated from the jump that we expected to be here. This ain't a surprise for us. Um, you know, it's no fluke. We, we we expect this from our group, and then once we added P, we knew that we could really take off. So um, it doesn't really matter what anybody thinks, except for the people in our travel party, 70, 80 people who come. Um, because I don't think anybody here picked the Pacers to win the series, they but didn't. it happened. I have picture proof. Yeah. <laughs> Miles Excuse tried. Me, Angela, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I said that. That was crazy. I'm sorry. That was, was thirsty. Like, I don't nah, bro. Yeah. I was trying to be subtle. Yeah. That, that was, was not, not subtle. subtle. That was not at all. That was not like, subtle. What? Did they see, I'm sorry, did you guys see that? No, I didn't see that. Miles, Ty, this time last year, you guys were on the track. My, uh, Ty, you were riding around the pace car. Now you're playing in the Eastern Conference Finals, and you're going to bookend the 500. How cool is it to have all of this happening for Indianapolis sports fans right now? Ty, you start with you. Yeah, Indy's going to be cracking. I ain't going to lie. That's going to be a crazy day to be an Indy, um, just especially because of the excitement of the Indy 500 and then to, you know, have our game cap off the day. Uh, that's that's really exciting for our city. There's a lot of exciting things going on in Indiana right now. Um, so you know, I, I think we're just excited to be a part of it, and I think us three are all part of the long-term future here in Indy, and I think we're all excited about that. So, um, you know, excited to continue to build excitement around our city and um, just understand we're not done yet. You know, we still got, uh, you know, another series, you know, possibly two to go, but it starts with, with – Boston, I think we're all excited for that challenge. Uh, Aaron and Aaron and Andrew were 16 of 18 in this game. Wow. What, uh, I mean, obviously those guys gave you a ton on the other end, and obviously they did a lot in this one. Just how important was to have on top of what all you guys were doing, those kind of productions from those guys. I mean, Andrew seemed like you got a shot, a big one every time you guys were getting close as well. Hey. Um, yeah, no, I think those guys, obviously, like, the first thing is just, you know, like, just the way they work, like, on defense for us, um, on every player like that's the best player on any team you know like they always on them um just the commitment that they have to playing defense and and i think the way we play um it just opens up things for them too on offensively and they gifted off offensively as well so um to be able to see them do both um i love drew like just the way he plays the game um and and he, he sacrificed you know everything you know just just for the team um but he also has games so he can play he can do all that Aaron, the same thing like play so hard on defense but you know, he's a great uh, three-point shooter, and then he can put the ball on the floor and, and attack. So um, those guys were great for us, and, and um, you know, they're a big part of what we do. Could you, you guys hear any of the, uh, 